South Africa will encounter another energy gap as soon as 2025, even with the uh, commissioning of Madupi and Kusili, because about 14 gigawatts of capacity will, will get decommissioned by 2025. And th this gives us about 10 years to actually do something about this. And 10 years, unfortunately, is not a very long time when it comes to finding new options to generate power. And in our view, gas is actually um, will offer the most strategically flexible option and will also be the most attractive. And then we actually have an opportunity to turn the next energy crisis into an opportunity. We can create a brand new gas industry on the one hand, and also through unlocking the, uh, the, the gas opportunity, it would also create a set of additional opportunities when it comes to the gas-induced industries. And while we already have um, two new coal power stations uh, that will be commissioned, um, you know, the base construction time for a coal fire power station would be about eight years, even if we start now and, and on the optimistic scenario. Um, and so if you factor in the additional risks when it comes to having to open up new coal supply, um, it does actually put the 10-year time horizon into question. This is a complementary strategy to renewables, so it's not an either-or, it's actually and. So renewable will have a very important role to play in the overall energy portfolio, but given the erratic nature of, uh, of, of generation and also the expensive battery technology at this point in time, we have to also at the same time beef up um, our base load. And actually gas offers a much more flexible a ramp up, ramp down timeline, um, which is actually a better complement for renewables as well. We have lots of options. The challenge is that it's not 100% confirmed. So um, within South Africa, there's obviously shale, but uh, north of the border, there's uh, a lot of Mozambique and gas. Um, so of course, you know, there's always a trade-off around energy independence. Um, you know, so what we are advocating is that what we need to do in the short term is to solve the 10-year problem. Um, you know, this could be partly imported gas, but in the long term we can then, you know, further explore um, op options around Shell, you know, and then there's, there's a longer debate around energy independence. But we have to solve the 10-year problem first.